Hi, I'm Clay Taylor. I work at Swarovski Optic North America. I've been here for 20 years and I've gone to bird festivals all over the country, meeting great birders, seeing wonderful birds, and of course playing with the best optics to see those birds. And I'm really happy that Swarovski Optic has come out with a brand new device called the Digital Guide. It's something that bird watchers have been asking for, but now we finally come out with it. It is a viewing device paired with a digital camera and adds in a Wi-Fi system so that you're gonna go out bird watching today. Bring your digital guide with you. You're out in the field, you see a bird that you're not quite sure of what it is. You make some note, mental notes, you maybe make a guess at it. As you're looking through your digital guide, it is obviously Swarovski optic quality, and you can say, I gotta get a picture of this. Push a button, the camera takes a picture, the Wi-Fi system immediately uploads it to your phone, on your phone, you have the Merlin Bird ID app from Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology. Within five seconds, the app will tell you what it is you saw. If you guessed right, that's great. You feel wonderful. If you didn't guess right, okay, now you can figure out why you made the mistake, and, and Merlin is your guide to you. That's why they're calling it a digital guide. This is something that we've been waiting for for a long time, integrating really great viewing optics with electronics to make your experience out in the field a whole bunch better, and you're going to have a lot more fun doing it. So, you just got your brand new Swarovski Optic Digital Guide. Yay! Good for you. All right, here's what you've got. Um, the guide, Cordura case, strap for the case, strap for the guide goes on to the little lugs. You do have a eye cup cap that goes on the back eye cup and that will flip through your strap. Um, comes with a cord. Remember this is an optical viewing device. This is an 8x25 monocular, but it's also a camera. So it's electronic, it needs a battery. There's a battery built in to the body. You cannot change the battery out. So to recharge it, you pop open the little cover there, pop on the USB-C cord, and then this will plug into any USB power source, whether it's your cell phone charger, uh, onto the dashboard of your car, or if you have one of those uh, auxiliary batteries you bring with you in the field to be able to uh, charge your cell phone, that's how you can also make sure that the charge on the digital guide stays good. Uh, also in the box is a little step-by-step -step setup guide. So what we're going to do is go quickly go through what are the steps in the, in the setup guide. So first thing they tell you is, is the pieces and parts. Um, the guide itself, that's your viewing lens, that's your camera lens. Up on top is the focusing ring. So when you're looking through the, the monocular, you're gonna focus it right here. You do have an eye cup that extends or lowers, depending on where, whether you're wearing glasses or not. This is a 20 millimeters of eye relief, so that's really good for eyeglass wearers. And you can obviously have it depending on, on which style glasses you have, whatever distance you need. Third control up here is the diopter control. Since you have a monocular, you don't necessarily need to be able to balance two eyes out, but what you are balancing out is the making sure that the viewing lens and the camera lens are focusing on the same thing. So you'd use your diopter, looking through those little black framing marks inside the viewfinder, you're going to turn the diopter until those are nice and sharp. That way you know that the camera and the viewing lens are both on the, on the same sink. Once you've figured out where everything is on the unit, it's time to get out your cell phone and pair the two of them up. First thing you have to do with the cell phone is go online to the App Store and load the Swarovski Optic DG app. And once you've got that downloaded, open it up, and now you need to turn on the, the DG, push down on the control button, you'll see the little lights are gonna light up to tell you what your battery level is, and as soon as you have the flashing light, that means it's ready to pair with your device. Now, it could be a cell phone, could be an iPad, anything that, that has the app on it. So go into the app, and it's going to ask you either of two ways to connect the two of them through. Uh, you do have on the box a QR code that the app can scan. That way it knows exactly which unit it is. If you don't have the box with you, if you maybe want to pair it up with somebody else's phone, you can also go into the DG itself, you unscrew the eye cup, and written right along here is the serial number. You can input the serial number into the app, and that will identify the specific unit to your phone. Hitting connect, hitting join, and in a couple of seconds, then the digital guide will connect up with your phone, and on your phone screen, you're gonna see a live image 
that is whatever the digital guide is being pointed at. So I'm pointing it at our little, our little wood duck over there. And here's the neat thing. Since the digital guide can connect up to five different devices, uh, phones, tablets, whatever it is, you could have five people. You could be in a van leading a, leading a bird trip. Everybody's got their phones on, pointing the digital guide out the window and whatever it is they're, you're pointing it at, they can see on their, on their devices. So since this is a streaming video, on the phone itself there is a button that you can push to be able to record the videos that is being streamed onto the, your phone itself. Um, there's also a snapshot button if you want to take a still picture. So of the five people that have their devices going, two people may be taking videos, one person might be taking snapshots and the others can be just looking at it. That's all completely independent of what the operator, the person aiming the digital guide is doing. Once the person aiming the digital guide says, hey, we got to get a picture of this, push on the shutter button and it'll take a shot. You can hear a little click, click, and then immediately the picture that was taken gets sent to the phone. You can see I just got the notification. There's the shot, there's the, the still image that the digital guide took that has now gone to the phone. That's how to use it. Now we can go out in the field and actually play with it and see how useful it is.